so this is our crossing on Inez Road. This is the first horse crossing when you come into our neighborhood. That light down there is Santiago. And my street over there is Flores Drive. And you can see we've got a little crossing sign here, but the crossing sign doesn't actually have a crosswalk or any indication that people are supposed to slow down here. So sometimes we stand here for quite a while just trying to get across the street. It's hard to see around this corner. Um, we've got a lot of cars coming in a short, short distance, so it's kind of scary to step out here. I'll see if my horse cooperates. She gets impatient after standing here for a little while. I might have to put my phone away, but um, we'll see how long it takes us to get across today. So here we're clear on the left. This is usually when I go out, but you can see we've got all this traffic now coming on the right. My horse is starting to dance. And by the time that traffic on the right is done, we look back over here, we got more traffic on the left. So, you know, these drivers can see us. I don't think they're trying to be rude. I think they just literally don't have any clue that they're maybe supposed to slow down or let us cross. And that's not their fault, but I'm gonna try and go here. That is the problem with this road and this crossing here. There's nothing on the road that even indicates that we have any right away. thank you. So that is just to get across to the other side. And that is with it only being two lanes. And that took me almost a minute and 40 seconds of hanging out, which can be a little dangerous if your horse doesn't like hanging out on the roadside. It's a really uncomfortable position for a rider. So um, I hope that helps give you guys all a little idea of what it would look like if we were trying to cross this road with four lanes. Not very good. Good girl, Rita.